It's a picturesque day here in Fort Dodge for the start of the state softball tournament. The shortened season has led us to right here and by the week's end, this is where teams want to be standing. We start with a fantastic finish on the 5A diamond. Waukee and Centennial gave us one heck of a start to the week. Jags trailing 2-0 in the sixth. Ella Scholes crushes this ball deep out to left. It goes off of the glove of the outfielder and out for the game-tying two-run blast. So we go to the seventh now. Centennial plating the go-ahead run off a pitch in the dirt. McKenzie James touches home, makes it 3-2. Taylor Runchy tacks on some insurance by hammering this one to shallow right. That'll score two more as the Jags rally back to win it 5-2. They're they just in the never panic mode, and they're excited to play and just getting different opportunities to get up there, and uh, they found a way to get done. We always just keep our heads up, and we know that we start hitting during the fifth inning, so we were just ready for that to come. Fort Dodge enters the tournament as the number one seed in 5A. They look every bit the part today. Jalen Adams tattoos this ball to the deepest part of the yard and gone. A two-run home run, and the Dodgers go up 2-0. Chloe Wirtz lining a ball to right field. It's down and will bring around two more runs. The Dodgers have no problem today taking down Bettendorf 7-0. It was like amazing. My heart did a backflip because we've never been here before. Like we've been here before, but we've never actually won the first game. And now I just feel like we're going to go all the way and I just want to keep playing. They'll play Centennial on Wednesday. Meanwhile, Valley trailing Muscatine. Throw over to third, takes a weird hop, and Alex Honnold uses her speed to tie the game at one all. Muskies, though, regain control. Honnold makes an incredible diving out, but that doesn't save the go-ahead run from coming home. Muscatine adds another run on a pass ball as they end Valley season 3-1. to one. To the 4A bracket now, one seed Carlisle giving Lamars more than they could handle. Kennedy Preston shoots a ball into the gap. Lexi Link touches home, making it a 4-0 game. Aubrey Fernall sends a slow roller to third. An overthrow at first will bring around Isabella Noring as Carlisle goes on to win it.